uh, talk about the award that we give every year. Um, this is something that we have, we started seven years ago, this organization at the Brattle Theater. I don't know if anybody here was there that night. But uh, this has been something that, this has been an incredible journey. And one of the best things we get to do each year is um, celebrate somebody who does really important work. And uh, the, the award is called the Lazy Award. And Chad can tell you a little bit about it. The Lazy Award, as some of you may know, uh, is in honor of Sybil's mom, who passed away years ago. And she was a woman who stuck up for others um, when, um, when nobody would stick up for, for them, she would always put her neck out and, and come to the rescue of basically half your town, like the children, <laughs> the children of Weston. Um, <laughs> the children of Weston. <laughs> 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 children of Weston. Hey, you know, uh, it's part of the new thing, you know. <laughs> But uh, Sib's mom, and many of you out there knew Sib, Sib's mom, and she was an incredible woman, and uh, basically was the mother uh, to, to more than just the six kids of her own. Um, and we try to honor her every year with, uh, by giving this award to someone who embodied her, uh, the way that she uh, encouraged people, the way she, the way she celebrated others, the way that she, um, put everything of herself aside and just and lived for um, someone else's achievements and and helped those achievements get on down the road uh, it was really amazing for me to see and I'm just so lucky that I was able to spend the years I did with her because of um, because of the energy energy she gave to this world and uh, we try to uh, Find someone out there that embodies those things, and this year we have a very special recipient. So, uh, uh, some months ago, I don't even know how long it was ago, maybe even a year ago, <coughs> April, uh, we were doing a service project up in New Hampshire, and uh, because we've been focusing on Syria, we teamed up with an organization called New Day Syria. And we came across a woman who just caught our attention, which I'm sure she does everybody that meets her. <laughs> um, she is a strong woman and a leader and does her work so quietly. Uh, she started an organization called New Day Syria, which basically collects really basic necessities but really important, important things that people just don't have access to right now in Syria. And she works out of this warehouse in New Hampshire filling freight um, containers um, to be shipped over and the work she does is wonderful obviously and so so important but her spirit was so memorable and one that I remember feeling and we only spent a day with her and and I know she continues this really important work but I remember feeling so inspired by her energy and her strength and her focus so focused, she kept us on task. And, and she, she has all these children. I don't know how she handles all these children. Maybe eight kids or something. And um, I, this just felt like such uh, a great fit for this award. And we've given it to a variety of people over the years who do very different things. Um, but we knew once we came across Nadia that she was the person for the Lazy Award this year. So, if you want to read this, sweetie. Sure. Calling All Crows presents the Lazi Award to Lazi Award to Nadia Alawa. Calling All Crows presents the sixth annual Lazi Award to Nadia Alawa for her tireless and wholehearted commitment to promoting universal human rights by bringing aid to those who are suffering and fueling empowerment and social change, especially for women. Thank you. to Sybil and to Jeff, your amazing organization for calling all close, it's been amazing. Thank you so much to Annalie 
and my daughter Huda, and who really actually brought me into the organization and, and, and led um, calling across Novart New Day Syria. Um, it's amazing the way you use music to raise awareness, outreach about very important social issues, humanitarian issues, and issues about women um, around the world. Um, when I, you know, the introduction you gave about your mother <coughs> was very, very moving. Um, I cannot imagine having a daughter, <laughs> you know, s s say those words. Um, and especially come from a family, um, many children, you know, in a privileged town. And yet, you know, you are able to go out and touch people uh, and you want to make a difference. And that's, you know, what we're doing with New Day Syria is that we want to empower and help the, you know, Syrian women and children as they're going through what they're going through right now. And it's just amazing to have, you know, support of people like you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.